Yesterday, we introduced you to this Houghton Lake man and his love for everything Chevrolet. He bought the very last Chevy Impala ever made. But that was only part of the story. As Whitney Amon and Chief Photojournalist Derek Lahr show us in part two of Pinky's Classics, it's easy to see that the car ended up in the right hands. See your Chevrolet dealer now with the finest Chevy ever. Go make a day today to see the USA and see it in your Chevrolet. Founded in Detroit back in 1911. The car for you and the USA. The best car you ever owned. Chevrolet. Chevrolet has made some changes over the years. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet, huh? Right. And there's a Houghton Lake man who has marveled at how the iconic American car brand has evolved over the past nine decades. Everything. It's the new Motoramic Chevrolet. And we just started collecting and collected everything Chevrolet. Toys, license plates, emblems, signs, everything Chevrolet. If I saw a Chevrolet item, whether it be a yardstick or a cap or a pencil or what, I had to have it, you know. It's easy to see how Pinky Randall earned his nickname. Wherever we go, oh, you're Mr. Chevrolet. Owning 200 cars in his lifetime, 180 of them Chevrolets. This is a 1914 Chevrolet, and this is what they call a light six. This is a 1928 touring car. It's a 1964 Corvair. They're, they're a popular car. This uh, one over here, it's a 75 model, it's 45 years old right now. And this car only has 11,000 miles on it. He spent the past 70 years collecting and restoring Chevys. That's the start of it all. But this is the exact car that sparked his lifelong fascination. This is a 1932 Chevrolet. Pinky first laid eyes on it when he was just four years old on his mile and a quarter walk to school. I'd go to school extra early so I could look at the car and walk around it, stay after school at night. My mother used to just get out of my case about it. Fast forward a few years, Pinky was drafted and served in the Korean War and World War II. As the years passed, Pinky kept his sights set on one thing. In 1951, he bought it for $30. And uh, I was proud as a peacock, I, I had a car. Today you can see that 32 Chevy Coupe led to this. A garage, workshop, and basement impressive to any collector. Our basement is, uh, is a kind of a miniature museum. Bringing visitors from all around the world to admire his collection. You could say Chevy's are Pinky's first love. I fell in love with a little gal. But his true love is the one who's been along for every ride for 70 years. No, I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> You're just along for the ride. I'm along for the ride, that's it. People have been so good to us. The community's been good to us. The last Chevy Impala ever made may just be the final piece to Pinky's collection. When my age, it probably will be my last one. But you can bet you'll still find him at car shows, answering Chevy questions for people across the country, and working in his garage, restoring cars to pass on to his family, until his very last ride. It's been a very satisfying feeling. And I'll tell you what, uh, I, I just can't believe it's happened. In Houghton Lake, Whitney Amen, 9 and 10 News.